XRP against BTC. So for Ripple, not good. Yeah, so we hit the skinny pink line. You see it as a skinny pink line goes through. Uh, we slash through, but then we got slapped down, right? We touched it, bounce, touched it, we got slapped down. So is XRP, BTC forming a head and shoulders here, right? You see it, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, palm, slice down. Potentially, but uh, to be honest, XRP against Bitcoin is in a very big descending triangle, right? Lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, and a very flat support. This is very bearish. This is very high quality, actually. Anyway, we have a target over here that uh, 1,000 Satoshis, and we are expecting more downside to come for XRP against uh, BTC. I just don't think it's time to be going long. I mean, of course, again, if you see strong rallies, right, uh, almost taking out the highs here, but not taking it out, and then we see some sort of a retrace, then hey, hey, that could be more upside for XRP, BTC. But until that happens, we're not going to force anything for XRP. Uh, BDC, right? XRP against USDT. Yeah, looks like this looks like a descending triangle to me, right? Mountain one, mountain two. Are we completing mountain three? And then we collapse lower, right? Uh, we're under the skinny pink line, so as long as we're under the skinny pink line, we remain bias bearish for XRP against USDT. It's just that I don't think that's a tradable, uh, that's a trade yet, you know. Uh, you can see that on the daily yesterday, it closed like not exactly a hammer, but you can see that the wicks. Uh, yes, longer, right? The bottom part <coughs> and the top part is shorter, so there could be a rally coming on. So be careful about going to trade. Even if you do rally, I suspect that uh, this is going to result in more downside. So be careful about going to trade. Do some for XRP.